which is, what are we on, P6? Yeah, P6A. So P6A, problem number 8, we are given the square root of 7 plus I squared minus 6 minus the square root of 81, or negative 81. So that one looks pretty crazy, right? Negative 81. Well, we're just going to do what we normally do. Okay, now remember a couple of things. We said that i is equal to the square root of negative 1 and that i squared was equal to negative 1. So in my very next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start replacing some things. So this becomes negative 7, or not negative 7, square root of 7, and my positive i squared is really minus 1, isn't it? So I'm going to replace that with negative 1. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to treat this like I'm multiplying by a negative 1. And so I'm going to distribute that through the parentheses. So negative 1 times 6 is going to be negative 6. Now a negative times a negative square root, we're only addressing that first negative. right? You can't change them both. So that becomes a positive square root of negative 81. Can we take the square root of negatives? No. Well, we couldn't until today. But remember the property of exponents? I can take this. Isn't this the same as negative 1 times the quantity, the square root of 81? Just shake your head yes, Mr. Adams. Yeah? You guys agree with that? Cool. So what is the square root, then, of negative 1? It's i, right? We said that that's i. So now I'm going to replace that. So you might have thought to yourself, well, why, why are we doing all this work? This isn't really a real number slash imaginary complex number. But it is because now I've got the square root of 7 minus. Now what's this if I were to combine those? Negative 7. So I'm going to knock that out of the way. What is this the same as? So it's positive i times... Now, what's the square root of 81? 91. Or not 91, 9. Why did I say it like that? Durr. Okay, so now to clean this up and make it look a little better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the square root of 7 minus 7 plus 9i. And you'll say, well, Mr. Adams, that looks a little funky. Well, that's okay. This is still, this is still the real number or the real component, and that's a real number. The square root of 7 minus 7 is actually an exact value and a real number, okay? This right here is still the imaginary part, okay? And combined, it is the complex number. Does that make sense?